Hi, welcome to the GF channel. Today I'm going to try to clean my uh, catalytic converter. Uh, I did that a while back, but uh, it did not work well. Then I used uh, solution for cleaning specifically for catalytic converters. Um, today I'm going to actually use a DPF cleaner, not a converter, a catalytic converter cleaning solution. As you can see, this is the graph I'm currently getting at that RPM, which is no good. And this is what it's supposed to be. So it says here deteri deteriorated catalytic converter. And as you can see, mine is pretty much that one. Well, it should be something like that. Um, so today I'm going to actually try two of these in two ways and I'm going to actually get a testing procedure working. So uh, I, I'm first going to go and measure what I got currently before I use this. Then I'm going to show you how to use this. Then I'm going to again go and test is there any change and of course see if that thing improves as well. If I try to hold RPM it's even worse. It's, it's supposed to be at measured at 2000 two and be, be, be between 2000 and 2500. I cannot even hold it like that. And you can see that it's just mimicking whatever it's in on the bank one, it's the same on the bank two. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be a lot flatter line like, like that. Okay, so let's go check what we have currently and then use this one and check again. If that doesn't work with one, my plan is to use the second one by actually taking off the catalytic converter and spraying it there without the tube thingy. See if that helps in any, in any way. Okay, let's go. Okay, so these are the results. Uh, the annual check which my annual check will now enforce and the problem is with here this says negative everything else is positive which is good this says negative so my CO is more than required uh, here so I will actually have issues not fail the test but I'll have issues also my check engine is uh, turning on from time to time uh, with error P uh, 0421 um, this is the initial one we are going to see if that improves afterwards now the instructions are here to use this this is only for diesel of course not only it doesn't say anything about um, catalytic converters but it's made for diesel since mine mine is already dead catalytic converter I'm just going to risk it uh, so it says here spray three to five times then allow to soak for five seconds and that's until you actually spray everything but before spraying here it says uh, do not expose no where was it i was reading it somewhere engine should be not warm yeah uh, maximum 50 degrees Celsius engine to cool down max 50 degrees Celsius and uh, you need to then sp after spraying run stationary for 15 minutes and then actually make a test drive for 30 minutes and then measure so that's what I'm going to do now let's remove the first uh, oxygen sensor so we can spray this thing in so, I have removed here as much as possible of the plastic and here is the uh, oxygen sensor which we need to remove in order to plug in this thing and I'm going to do the removal from below because the shield here is in the way but from below it's good, just need to disconnect it. So I go from below and I remove it okay 52 degrees celsius so let's start to go and take out the 
uh, oxygen sensor. And Houston, we have a problem. It's all garbage. Okay, I'm, I'm still going to plug it in. We'll see if it's good enough or not. Probably not. But at least for the test. And I use this thing that is especially made to release high temperature threads. But still, big problem. Okay, so it goes like that and it hits somewhere here, don't know where. So I just start doing it 3-5 times, then 5 seconds, 3-5 times, then 5 seconds. Okay, engine is running, This I screw it up like that, seems fine. Still there's nothing at the back, no cloud, nothing. The last time I did that with actual cleaning for the catalytic converter, um, it was a big smoke at the back, big, huge. Now there is nothing. We'll see when it warms up. Maybe it needs to warm up. We'll see. Okay, that's way more like it. N on neutral, nothing was happening. But when you actually give it a gas, it, it, it goes out with black... Uh, um, blue smoke and smells like crap that's good okay let's start driving it okay so before driving this is the result currently seems fine let's give it a gas looks way better way better let's hope it stays like that of course so check engine and the error is again the same for the catalytic converter warm-up catal catalyst efficiency below threshold so guess what I'm not expecting anything. I'm here to actually test. We'll see. Okay, so I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. I got the check engine light, but the test results are all good. And not only that, by a margin, they're very good. So you can see here, um, I have this lowered a little bit. That's fine. The, the, the one that was negative, it's now zero, like zero, nothing. This one 0 0.6. Uh, and these are also, uh, this is the only one that go, gets higher, C, CO2. It's a little bit higher, but the next one, 95 here, and the new one is 24, multiple times lower. Same goes for this one, 0 0.74, this is... 0 0.13 that's that's a lot better and on on uh, when stationary you can see on the rpm when the rpm is lower again the same thing this one lower this one from 0 0.2 to 0 again 0 this one gets higher again but the other ones magnitudes lower again now for my car for my country this is not actually uh, doesn't matter these as you can see they're not counted because it's too old of a car but the main parts I got them proper now so this thing apparently works for how long I don't know why the check why did the check uh, got lit I my best guess is because this was while driving the required 30 kilometers I'll have to actually see if that happens again. I cleared the error and uh, I'll keep you posted in the comments. I'm not going to remove the catalytic converter in that uh, scenario because results are excellent. So I'll put an end to this episode now and I'll keep you posted in the comments if something changes. 
hit that, hit that subscribe. I'll be posting more videos soon. Bye bye.